it gets better. Well, apart from when it gets worse. Why does everything have to be inspirational these days? I'm a noted equality campaigner who's had to overcome more than a few personal hurdles. I was in a Young Offenders Institute 10 years ago, but now I'm a highly celebrated journalist having a whale of a time in London. So I'm asked to cough up inspiration porn all the time. But the thing is, you can't always be upbeat. And it's OK to feel sad or that life is disappointing, because sometimes it is. I got my heart broken earlier this year. I'd never been in love like that before. My friends were trying to console me with all the usual platitudes, you know. At least you've experienced that now, or it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. What a load of old rubbish. Would you tell a woman who just lost her child? Well, at least you had a child for a bit. Some people never have children. Or what about someone who had to have their leg chopped off? Would you say, you were lucky. Some people never have legs. Sometimes life sucks, and sometimes we just need to accept that. I think it's time we all lowered our expectations a little. Life is hard and full of struggles and strife. If we all hope for the best but prepared ourselves for the worst, we might not be so disappointed when it all comes crashing down again. And even more pleased next time fate throws us a bone.